Okay, for all you guys that, hey, like to catch critters, have I got the ultimate critter catching system. Uh, Doc Autry has got the swine, Texas Swine Saloon. Yes, sir. Tell me about what makes these things so special. Hey, they're stout looking. I can see that right now. They're heavy built. Uh, there's over 300 welds in each trap. And uh, the whole concept with the Texas Swine Saloons is that it's just so time and labor extensive to mm -hmm. to operate a hog trap in most cases that being around makes it easy for them to move around and, and locate, relocate and it takes all the time and effort out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're made to be one man operational. Uh, one man can set one up in about three minutes as you're about to see and uh, uh, after that, it's just a simple matter of setting them on the edge and rolling them. Let's show you how easy this is in a one-man operation setting this up. Grab the first panel from the inside. Inside your curve here, it's easy to handle this way and made to be that way. These are manufactured with inch and a quarter square tubing, 14 gauge. Uh, they're covered with industrial enamel. Keeps them rust proof for many years to come. The panels are uh, four inch mesh. Keeps all your little hogs from getting out. Galvanized, again, made to last forever. The door unit is the heaviest part of this trap, but as you can see, it's designed to be easily handled by one man. These tabs <clears throat> overlap the bolt holes. Start with your bottom. Loosely hand tighten your nuts at first. Then you want to skip this third post, go to your door side. Same procedure, bottom first. Come back to your last post. Line it up. Now that you've got your last bolt tightened, come to your door unit. Attach your spring. Clamps easily to these chain links we have welded on the door system. Pick up your scissor mechanism, door release mechanism. Place it in right there up your cable. Now you, you want to make about a three inch loop with your cable clamp on this end. The way these doors set, you never try to set them from up here. It, you can't get enough reach and you need one hand free. But it's very easily done by simply reaching under, placing your foot against this door, open the doors, put your cable on, and cock it in the open position. Now with this mechanism, the cable will set loosely right here. When the door is triggered, this cable falls completely off of the door mechanism and it's designed to do that. That way, if the hogs go to pulling on the cable, it doesn't destroy your mechanism. Then simply crawl through. Take your straight end of the cable. Place it from the top down through this chain link. Pull it through. Now it's important to remember that when you go to set your cable, you leave about two or three inches of slack, about like this, in the upper portion. You don't want it to be too tight. Then take your cable, and I prefer to come about one foot off the side of the trap, about midway back. Adjust it where you want it. Make a loop here. Cut this cable to fit, and you'll place another clamp here, stick it against the ground, and drive your stake in at an angle to hold securely, secure it to the ground. Now, for demonstration purposes, we'll leave this excess on here. But as you can see, that cable will run at about a 45 degree angle. When the hogs enter the trap, they hit that cable 
it releases the doors. Again, the cable falls completely off the mechanism as it's designed to. Now, an important feature of this trap is that it's, a, it's designed to allow other hogs to push in through these doors even after the doors have been triggered shut. And it's very easy, very simple for them to do. Even the little piglets can push it open. But with this double saloon style door, the ones that are inside cannot get out. So, and in fact, one of the best hog baits in the world are other hogs already in the trap. So uh, inevitably, they will push in to get after the feed. Now, another design feature of this trap for your farm and ranch operations, these two links right here are calf excluders. And what you do is you place a, a link of chain or wire across there, and that keeps the little baby calves that are curious from being able to enter the trap. Uh, a hog can bend down and go under that very easily where a, a baby calf can't. Now, another important design feature of this trap, especially in deer country, is the open top design. And they're made that way because so often you'll end up with deer in your trap and if it's a, a closed top system, they can't get out and, and it will kill them. I've seen many square traps do that very thing. So for me, it was a very important factor that we allowed for that in, in the production of this trap. Now when you're ready to, to move your trap, it's a real simple process. First, take your door mechanism off, set it aside, take a piece of bailing wire, tie your door shut, walk to the back side of the trap, the heavy side down, lift it up, and simply roll it to your next location, or into the vehicle or the pickup, whichever you prefer. This trap is designed to eliminate the work and time that goes into controlling feral hogs, and it's by far the best on the market for that reason. Call me at Texas Swine Saloons or visit the website.